Hello, friends. Now let's solve the next permutation problem. Let's see the statement. We need to implement the next permutation, which rearranges numbers into the lexicographically next greater permutation of numbers. If such arrangement is not possible, it must rearrange it at the lowest possible order.、Uh, the replacements must be in place and use only constant extra memory. So, uh, let's see the example. If we are given one, two, three, so the next permutation should be one, three, two. And if it's three, two, one, uh, we know that should be the largest、uh, possible number. So we just need to return the smallest number. That will be one, two, three. For this one, one. Five. We need to return one five one. So let's see a longer example. If we are given one two five、uh, eight seven, what should be the next permutation of this number? Let's see. As one two, or we can set these two numbers separate, and then we just consider five eight seven. Why? Because Five eight seven is not the largest、uh, permutation, uh, because the largest should、uh, just be the descending order. It should be five seven, uh, uh, sorry, it should be eight seven five. So it's not the largest. Um,、uh, but、uh, you see, the eight seven is the largest、uh, permutation because they are descending. So for this five, we need to find、uh, some other digit to swap with it.、Uh, so we need to find、uh, a digit that is greater than five, and、uh, it should be as early as possible, right?、Um, we should not swap it with eight. We should swap it with seven, right? And then we swap that. That will be seven, eight five. But that is not the next permutation because when we swap it with seven, uh, the next permutation should be the five eight, right? Because five eight is the smallest. So, the next permutation of this number should be one two seven five eight. So as you can see, our step is first find a pair that the Numbers i is greater than numbers i plus one. This should be agent agent, and then we、uh, get the position of this i, and then we start from right again to find some digit is greater than five, and then swap that two digits. Um, and after we swap them, we just reverse all the rest. Digits to get the as smallest order as possible. So、um, first is find the agent agent two digits numbers that should be numbers i is less than numbers i plus one, and if we find them, we find the. Uh, greater. Find a J that is greater than numbers i, and、uh, then we swap the i and the j, and、uh, finally we just、uh, reverse all the rest. That should be i plus one to the n minus one. That's our step. So let's write the code. Forget and there will be the numbers of this length, and we will go from the right. Because, uh, when we change the order of the right part, it should be as small as possible. If we change from left, there should be as large as possible. So that's the reason we start from right. There will be i i start from i minus two because we need to get i plus one. We should make sure i plus one is valid. So while、well, i is greater or equal than zero, and the numbers i is, uh, if it's greater or equal than 
numbers i plus 1, we just uh, make i minus minus. Then, if we out this while loop, we have two cases. One case is i is equal to negative 1. So, uh, we just uh, reverse the reverse numbers i plus 1 and uh, n minus 1. What does that mean? That means we cannot find uh, any ascending pair. Oh, uh, it's like this test case. We just uh, reverse all the arrays because i is negative 1, so that should be 0, and that should be whole array. But if i is greater or equal than 0, which means um, it's greater or equal than 0, right? It, it should means we have find some i. And next step, we need to find the j. j start from i minus 1 because uh, we also start from right to find the uh, digit is greater than numbers i. So while j is greater than i and the numbers j is less or equal than numbers i, we just make uh, j minus minus. We should always can find uh, uh, j because if we we are in this if condition, that means we at least have i plus 1 is greater than numbers i. So it should always have a j. So we just swap i and j. So now let's write this swap. That should be numbers and that will be low into high. We get a temporary that equal to num uh, equal to numbers low and low. The number low equal to numbers high. The numbers high will equal to temporary. And the private void reverse it numbers that will be low and the so what that reverse mean? We just keep swap a letter from the beginning and with the letter from the end. So while the low is less than high, we just keep swap the numbers low plus plus and high minus minus. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.